Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Tanks Generals. Today we're going to be playing the seventh tank corps and um, uh, this is more of a tank based version of the deck. So yeah, we'll see how this works out. And that's actually okay. Wait, no, we don't want to take Mountain Pass though, but um, Last Stand is really good against the third airborne. So yeah. Oh, I know this guy. I like this guy. I'm gonna say hi. There we go. I'm not gonna talk to him that I'm recording. So, yeah. <coughs> uh huh. So I don't have many options here. Actually, right? He brought camo. And we'll just we'll just hit that with a hammer to not have to discard a card. <laughs> there we go. I just had to say hi to him. I know him from NA. He's he's pretty cool, really. He's a pretty cool guy. Oh great, a Lee. Uh, fun, you know? It's just super fun. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, so... We'll throw down the Su-5. Then we'll just shoot. Sorry about that. Cough. Really, really hate that cough. It's really stupid. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if he can, if he moves this up and attacks into this, we can kill it. All right. Not so easily now, but three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. He's probably, he's probably more or less thinking this is more of a aggressive seventh. This is not at all an aggressive seventh. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll just do our damage to this while we can. I do want to keep this back, because he can move this up otherwise. Right now, this can't move. So yeah, we'll hold on to our support. 5, 6, 7, 8. 4, 8. So we're tied up on cards. He's probably going to kill the AT1 by moving the Lee up, attacking with that first, and then attacking with this. But in that case, I'll just use a Sue. Just use a Su-76 to deal with this. Yeah, I'll just use a Su-76 to deal with it. Alright, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, I can deal with that. 3, 6, 7, 8. 5, 6, 7. <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that. Very, very sorry about that. That's a bit annoying. It's a little bit annoying. trade like that. And we will hammer that because that can be a real problem. Okay, so we're still up by a card basically, which means we 
didn't gain any card advantage at all because we were always up by a card. Four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven. Alright, I can kill that. I can kill that. And I will kill this with the Su 5. I I will most definitely kill that with the Su 5. Five, six, seven. Alright, I won't kill that with the Su 5. I'll kill this with the Su 5. I'll just kill that with the Su 5, yeah. We'll draw a card. It's a bit dangerous against this particular opponent, but... Oh, well, we have to live a bit dangerously against this particular opponent. Because we can't just not draw cards. Just, like, we can't. We just need to draw cards. Like, we really need to draw cards. We really, really need to draw cards. Okay. Okay, is he going to move that up? He is going to move that up. Four, five, six, four, five, six. Okay. Cops. I think you can kill that and back off. So we'll just want to AT2 back here. Yeah, four. Four. Five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven. The Lee is the Lee is a problem, honestly, guys. The Lee is a real problem. Quite honestly. Very, very honestly. It's it's a huge problem. Don't like that unit. Don't like that unit at all. Well, I mean, I like it, I just don't like, you know, dealing with it. Dealing with it is the worst thing. He could remove both of these. He could really remove both of these. It'd be really bad for me. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. To, to seven. Moves that up. Moves that up. I could kill that. Could not kill that. Oh no. Oh no, that's really bad for me. That's really, really bad for me. He's probably won this game. Just because he's going to mill me out. He's really going to mill me out. And I no longer have a unit, so... That's also pretty... pretty bad. It's really pretty bad. Let's draw something. Not quite what I wanted, but okay. We have to do that, because now we have the board. <coughs> Alright, we have a pretty large, pretty large card advantage. We have about maybe six turns, I'll say six turns, at least, to um, uh, kill him. We should be able to kill him in six turns. We should, should be able to. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a quite a bit of damage. Yeah, six. Okay. And 
we'll have our units approach him when we when we actually need to have our units approach him. We don't need that yet, though. Because right now we can kill him in like four four turns. Well, not four turns now. Oh, great, great. It's not what I wanted to see. Six, seven, one, two, three, four, five. Well, see, I'm worried that if I just start approaching him, he's going to just start killing my units. And if he starts killing my units, I will lose. So I need to wait until I have a mass of units. Until I just have a mass of units. Because I only have nine cards left. So I have to be pretty careful about this. I will eat through these squads pretty quickly. Right now I should have enough like enough units. Hopefully he doesn't draw back them up. A back them up would pretty much win this for him. Pretty much. It wouldn't outright win it for him because I think he could only discard three cards. I think only three cards is what he could get with it. But that'd still be pretty bad. Okay, that's pretty bad, too. I'm not going to play that. Five... Under turn there. We'll we'll see how this goes. He can probably he can probably kill that. This ruined everything. This this just ruined everything for us. That ruined everything for us too. kill that with RD because there's no reason not to. Let's just play that because we can. Kind of have to. Alright, we just have to hope at this point that this is going to go well. Alright, so he only has six cards. Only six cards. Let's hope he doesn't have a decent unit. He needs three damage. <laughs> That's a bit annoying. Just a little bit annoying. It's nine, ten, six, nine, ten. Okay. We can kill that pretty easily, though. We can pretty easily kill that. Three, four, five, six, nine, ten. Six, nine, ten. Okay, so he's getting that ready to kill next turn. See, this is why the third is so hard to fight against, because you're just kind of racing to, like, not lose your cards. That's not going to help me to have him back that off. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He no defensive card. Alright, no defensive card or the ability to kill that T thirty five. That's not what I need to see. So this needs to be a hammer or we lose. Hammer or bust, guys. Hammer or bust. Hammer. Hammer. 
Hammer. Hammer. Five, six. That's really annoying. Yeah. Look how annoying that is, guys. Let's just kill ourselves. Alright. <coughs> ah, sorry about the sneeze. Alright. Oh, that's not too bad. Ah, too bad we didn't have a hammer. Would have been great. Too bad he deployed like th all three of his Lees, you know? All three of his Lees. I'm almost thinking we shouldn't have hammered that, but then the damage would have not needed a hammer. Alright, let's go on to the next one. Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to World of Tanks. What What, what am I doing? We already had the intro. Aha! Alright. Well, now that I'm done almost messing up completely, we'll um, uh, be... We're back on the 7th. There we go. We didn't need the intro. <laughs> I can't believe that, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so very sorry. Um, yeah, we'll we'll deploy this since he let us so kindly with that. So kindly allowed us to do that. So yeah, we're back on the seventh. Sorry, it's I was a long time in queue. Very very long time in queue. It's listening to some music while waiting. Had to turn that off and everything. And a lot of things I had to do before hitting record and. I had this open because I posted in general chat my power, like my range, my power range, and then I found a battle, so this is pretty good. Hopefully he was someone who actually came in, because generally people who come in and, like, when you post their, your, like, power range are pretty, pretty good most of the time. They're really pretty good most of the time, so hopefully he's pretty good. I hope he's pretty good at least. All right. Mountain Pass is a really good asset, because if you're going first, and you use it, it gives you your card advantage. Because, yeah, he basically loses a card for taking the asset. So it's really good. It's really good, is what I'm saying. It's really, really good. We'll throw that there. Throw that there, and then we'll shoot him. We'll shoot him now. And the 21st is kind of a... Um, uh, kind of a little bit of a counter to the 7th, because it kind of removes the 3 firepower advantage, and just gives us 2, and we're, um, uh, in every way, worse than the 21st is. We're worse in absolutely every way than what he is, because our only advantage is we do, uh, additional 1 damage, additional just 1 damage to his squads. It's not a huge deal. Not a huge deal at all. He can kill that. Is he going to kill that? Yeah, he's going to kill that. Okay, cool. Cool, he's going to kill it. We'll take both of those units from him, though. We'll take both of them. You know, because cause we can. Because we can. Oh, that's even, that's even better, actually. But he doesn't move that one back. Because that means this can move back into safety now, instead of having to move up there. So that's pretty good for us. We're not going to use the support because, well, that'd be kind of silly, you know? That'd be very kind of silly, because why waste a card? Alright, we'll move this up to the center. You know, the center just, just in case we need it there. Just in case we need it there. I'm gonna turn this volume down now, cause I, cause I really, I'm starting to get a bit annoyed with it. Just a bit annoyed. When it's too loud, it gets kind of annoying. It gets really kind of annoying. No, oh, I, I would love to draw a Su-5. Drawing a Su-5 would be great right here. I realized I use a lot of the Su units, the SUs, a lot of, a lot of SUs. Three, 
six, seven, eight, three, six, seven, eight. We can, we can remove this. And yeah, I guess we will remove it. We can and we will. Alright, and we'll do the T28 and the um, uh, AT1. So this is this is going fairly well for us. Fairly well. We have four more cards than he does. So actually, sorry, five more cards. Yeah, four more cards. Sorry, I, I can't count. We have nine cards to his five. There we go. Four more cards. We have a hand's worth of cards more than he does. One hand's worth more. And that will continue to grow as we play police. As we play police, it'll continue to gain card advantage. That gained some card advantage for us. Because he did spend a card on that, and spending a card on that was kind of probably not the, not the right decision. Probably not the right decision at all. I'm gonna trade a card for that though, because we we have an advantage here. So why shouldn't I trade a card for that? I was hoping he'd leave it there, because that'd be really really good for us. But well, whatever. Always shoot first because we need this to continue to be spotted. Don't don't make that mistake, guys. It's a really, really bad mistake to make. Sue eighty five because because we need a big beefy unit, and it spends our resources perfectly instead of that. I mean that play would have been worse in every way. Steel fisting would have made us spend our resources, but that would have lost us a card. Like don't don't use damage dealing orders unless they do something useful for you, like gain you a card. We might we might use that because it will gain us a card. It will it will remove that card for us. I mean we can take some damage on our units, but I'd rather not take some damage on my units. I'd, I'd I'd rather not have my units damaged, you know. All right, move this up. Shoot, shoot, and then we'll go up here. Now we have all the hammers we will ever need. All the hammers we'll ever need are ours. I'm not annoyed with that at all because it's it's okay. It's pretty okay to have this. We have enough units, we'll get our brig head lock next turn. We'll get our brig lock next turn. We're ahead on cards. We can even afford to double trade if we need. Sorry about that crunching, by the way, guys. Very sorry about that crunching, guys. Six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can we can always kill that. Okay. There we go. We're locking up his brig head. It's always a good thing to lock up his brig head. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine to three. And of three, we can we can afford to double trade like twice. It's, we'll still be up on cards. Double trading, by what I mean by that is uh, trading two of our cards for one of his cards. Generally, that's bad. So avoid it when you avoid it when you can. But the Sappers is not going off. I'm sorry, buddy. The Sappers is not going off. Sorry about that. crunching again. I'm very annoyed very annoyed that I do that but this cough drop was really really starting to irritate me go we one shot the sappers 
It's always nice when you one-shot a um, uh, squad. It's always really nice when you one-shot a squad. So we pretty much probably won this, this next turn, because we can do 8, 10, 11, plus 6. We can do 17 damage to him next turn. 17 whole damage, it's pretty good. I mean, you can also use your Steel Fist to, like, kill them, too, because it's worth it to kill them with the Steel Fist, of course. Two, five, six, seven, three, six. There's no good way to remove that, is there? No, there is no good way to remove that. Unless we draw a Sue Five. We did not draw a Sioux 5. Alright, we won't kill him this turn. We won't kill him this turn. We can only do 12 damage. Only 12 damage, guys. I mean, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty bad, you know? Pretty bad. We're two away. We're two away. Next turn... Next turn's pretty guaranteed. Pretty guaranteed next turn. We'll probably eat through whatever squad he throws down. Whatever squad he throws down, we'll probably eat, and then we'll we'll probably be able to do two damage to him with units at least. At least two with units. So we'll we'll probably win next turn. Probably next turn, I hope. I really hope. This is Alright, so what's he going to do? What is he going to do? We have 11 cards to his 3. 11 to 3, pretty good advantage. We're on full. Okay. So we'll just finish this. Oh. That didn't, did not attack. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, so that, that wasn't bad at all. How much rating did we get? We got 7? Seven? 7's not bad. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, now we're back, playing another 21st, and um, let's see what we can do about this. Mm -hmm. Pr pretty good hand, we'll keep that, we'll mount and pass of course, because going first, this deck always wants to mount and pass going first, and sorry, I'll turn the music back on, and there we go, go, um, seven, is that more significant than six? No, it's not more significant than six, so we'll just... <coughs> <coughs> Alright, we'll just um, uh, play that, because seven is in no way a more significant number than six. It opens up no other options to us, other than still fist after the Sioux 85. That's the only one it opens, but we could always still fist after the um, uh, T20... The T28. So after T28, we can always steal fist. Now does eight mean any more to us than seven? Seven. Um. um no. No, I don't think so. No. Okay. Okay. So we'll probably throw another one of these down another one of these down, because so far 7 is not looking any more significant to us than 8. Not all more significant than 8. So we may as well just put down another strong unit instead of a slightly weaker unit with more supply, because we probably won't be able to use that supply next turn. So, yeah. Why why worry about it? Why worry about it? I mean, we can if we dry um, uh, a T-40... Or, yeah, it's a T46 is what it's called. We could, because we could sue 5 into T46 then, but now we can T82 into the T46 if we really, really need it. But we probably, probably won't need it. No, we won't. We won't be needing it. He's not going to deploy enough units for us to need it. He's definitely not going to deploy enough units for us to need it. Gave up a lot of his card advantage. Gave up a lot of his card advantage. Wow. Wow. So 
So he has five cards to our seven. Five to seven is not not a good thing for him. And now he's playing give it your all. Give it your all. Hopefully he has something to deploy with that. Really, I hope he has something to deploy with that. <coughs> 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 Five, six, seven. All right. All right. So we we've pretty much won this game already. We've pretty much won this. I can't. I can't see him coming back from trading three cards, like three cards into that, then using another card for resources. So basically, four cards he. Sort of, he sort of just wasted four cards. Him wasting four cards is not a very, not a very good thing at all. This is, now we have three more cards in him. Three full more cards than he does. So yeah, that, that, that wasn't solid at all. Wasn't at all a solid idea. All right. So yeah, guys, don't don't do that, please. Like, please don't do that. It generally is not it's not generally a good idea. Cause now look at this. We have eight cards to his four. Eight to four. That's, that's pretty pretty big difference right there, guys. Pretty big difference. Um. Three, six, seven, three, six, seven, yeah, probably the best way. Unless we draw police into logistics. Police into logistics would be good. And that'd be five, six, seven, so five, six, seven, so that would just take three. Just take three, I'm hoping for that. Well, we, we can't get what we want all the time, guys. I was hoping for that, but, you know, it, just, it, it wasn't meant to be, sadly. Sadly, it wasn't meant to be, huh? Police in general would have been a really, really nice draw, just, just to draw police. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, that's, that's fine. We'll, we'll let his card stay alive. I was thinking about hammering this, but... What's the point? That's only one damage. Why trade two of our damage for one of his damage? Especially when he draws a card from it. So, I mean, it makes no sense. If it was on full and I wasn't seventh... Actually, if I wasn't seventh and it was on two, I would consider that. I would really consider that then, but I won't right now because, because it really makes no sense. <coughs> <coughs> Now this I am going to use a hammer on. Does it make sense to use a hammer on it? Stops it from doing two more damage. Trading a card into it's okay. It's very okay to trade a card into it. When we're pretty far ahead on cards. We're really pretty far ahead on cards right here. So we can afford to trade a little bit, you know? We can really afford to trade a little bit. We'll put this down here. Put it down there because it needs it needs to protect us, you know. It really needs to protect us. So yeah, we basically won here. The main reason why we won was the guy did make a bit of a mistake. Like don't don't triple trade orders into one card. Like just just don't triple trade, guys. Like if you can avoid it, don't. If especially when you're not ahead. If you're ahead, you can consider it, if it makes sense to do. Like, if it keeps your momentum, that's fine. We're going to get rid of that. <coughs> <coughs> because we can. Hmm. 
we should move this back, and then we can move the, this here, and then this here, and then this up, and we would have won. This here, this here, and that up. We would, yeah, we would have won. That would have been, that would have been a very good idea, but we didn't really need to. Didn't really need to at all. We should have probably healed because it helps our rating, but I don't really care that much about our rating, about my rating, not our rating. I don't know why I talk about it like it's both of ours. Well, in a way, it kind of is. Okay, I'd be 27. We're a bit over 30 minutes. So, yeah, I'm just going to end this here. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. Please leave any, um, uh, uh, any advice you have. Like, anything you want to see different, leave that in the comment section, please. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know what you want to see. And, uh... Again, thanks for watching. I hope you have wonderful days. I love you all. And I'll see you next time.